tell us what you felt when you first came onto the set of Titanic. Well, it's impressive the scale of it and the detail of a lot of the design. It sort of feels like a sort of beached whale or like a museum piece. And there's something quite eerie about it. Can we both get in? Yes, it's interesting that the Titanic matters so much to so many people and I think it's because it's not only a real disaster because of when it happened just on the eve of the First World War it has this symbolic resonance of a whole it's not just a boat going down it's a whole way of life going down What shall we do about Georgiana? I do sympathise how hard it is to keep the young in check. My name's Mrs Grace Rushton. Dreadful. She's marvellous. Everybody's terribly rude about her, but I think she's absolutely wonderful. Oh, look, there's that frightful Mrs Rushton and her horrid little dog. The class thing is so shocking because sometimes you can't go through a door unless you're the right class. And that all comes up in the script. And it is how it was. No! I won't go with that. It's OK. Grace, my dear, be sensible. We can never find the cage again. How do you imagine what it was like. No. No. Would I tread on everybody's heads and get out? I wonder. Or would I try and save people? Turn back! Turn back! I play a stewardess called Annie Desmond. I get to do a lot of weaving in and, in and around all of the other characters. So I look after second class, I look after the first class servants, and I'm always popping up in first class, so I kind of get, I get around. Oh. Sorry. She has a much, much lighter side, which um, I haven't played before. So this is lovely. I should not be in first class anyway, you're a bad influence. Mm -hmm. Coming to work and kind of playing, falling in love amongst this beautiful set on a ship is amazing. Mm -hmm.